In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a branch for a Bezier curve or even for a path. A Bezier curve does not really support a bifurcation, so technically speaking, these parts of the curve are only segments, we should not call them a branch, but they are very much like branches. You can use this as a branched curve in many places, and many useful models can be built with this. We will see how to create such a branch, so let us start with a blank new file. We will use a Bezier curve instead of this default cube. So delete this cube, and go to the Add menu. Under the Curve option, we can either use a Bezier curve or we can use a path. Let us go with a Bezier curve. We will first move it up by some height, and also scale it up, say by a factor of 3. Now, in order to create a branch for this Bezier curve, please go to the Edit mode. The two end points of the curve are selected by default. If not, press A on your keyboard to select both of them. Go to the Segments menu and click on Subdivide. So a new control point is added in the middle of the curve, and we will create a branch from this control point. And the first step to do that, is to create a duplicate of this control point, where we want to create the new branch. So, press Shift D on your keyboard and hit Enter. Do not move your mouse in between. So we got a duplicate control point created at this location, where we have the original control point, and by default this new control point is also selected at present. Now, press E on your keyboard and move your mouse to create a branch like this. For the underlying geometry, this part is not really a branch. It is basically a new segment. You can say a disjoint segment of the curve, so there will be some limitations on how we can use it later. But it is almost like a branch. And if we go to the object mode, you can see that the entire object is now treated as one single curve by Blender. So our purpose is solved. We will create one more branch here, so we have to select this control point, and also the other end for the section in between. Then go to the segments menu and subdivide. We get a new control point created here. We will now repeat the same process once again. So press Shift D to duplicate it. If you now move your mouse, you will get a disjoint control point placed somewhere else. You can now extrude it and create a segment like this. It will be a disconnected segment. We are basically doing the same thing, but the difference is, instead of starting it from some arbitrary point, we are starting it from here. So it looks like a branch. Let us now undo the steps, whatever we have done just now. It was only to show you what is happening behind the scene. We know that we have to first create a duplicate control point. So press Shift D and hit Enter without moving your mouse. Then press E to extrude and move your mouse to create a new segment or branch like this. Beautiful. Now, if you want, you can create yet another branch right from here. So select this one again. Press Shift D and hit the Enter key. Then press E and simply move your mouse to create another branch or segment. This way, you can create as many branches as you need for any Bezier curve. Let us go back to the object mode. So, we get a branched curve like this. There may be some limitations, but we can still use it in many ways. For example, let us create a pipe system from this curve. So go to the Add menu, and under Curve, add one circle. We have to reduce its size, so go to the Object Properties tab. Let us reduce the size to 0 0.01. It may be difficult to see, as the size is very small. Anyway, now select this Bezier curve, and go to this Curve tab here. Then scroll down to the Geometry section here and expand it. Then scroll down to the Bevel section. Switch over to the Object tab. In the Object field, select the Bezier circle that we have just added. As a result, we can see a pipe structure. You can use this same method to create crossroads on a map, or maybe a river system, or any other similar model. And the best thing is, this is perfectly editable. In order to edit the curve, please select it, and go to the edit mode. You can now select any control point, and then move it whichever way you like, to change its shape. So, you don't need to be very perfect in one go. Unless and until we convert this curve into a mesh object, you can always move these points and rectify its shape like this anytime. Back to the object mode, once you finalize the shape of the curve, you can convert it into a mesh. For that, go to the object menu, and under Convert, select the Mesh option. To summarize our discussion, 
These branches are actually standalone segments, so some specific curve operations may not work on this, but keeping those exceptions aside, I found it still very useful in many places. Once you know how to create a branched Bezier curve like this, you may be tempted to use it for a tree. But please don't do that, because we have a far better method for the same, which is known as the sapling tree. We have covered that in details in our next tutorial, the link is given in the video description. I hope you like the topic of our discussion today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.